With the help of a grant from the Carnegie Corporation, BustedHalo.com began covering the issue of immigration in a unique way. Instead of contributing to the glut of coverage about immigration, Busted Halo is featuring stories by immigrants themselves about the issue. We distributed flip video cameras to undocumented individuals and agencies across the country and asked them to start video blogging for a period of at least three months. Busted Borders is an attempt to use the web's unfiltered nature to move the immigration debate away from abstractions and statistics. Regardless of where you stand on the issue, we hope to give a personal glimpse into the humanity of these strangers in our midst. For reasons of safety, some of the participants have opted to keep their last names and locations secret. Okay, I'm here today with my husband, Roberto. He has graciously agreed to a little interview. Roberto, can you talk a little bit about where you grew up? I grew up in Mexico, Estado de Morelos, state of Morelos. Um, I grew up in a, in a very small town named Barranca Onda. Oh. It was countryside, hardcore countryside. <laughs> And uh, what was kind of a regular day for you there uh, in Barranca Onda, growing up as a kid? Like, what would a regular day look like? Um, well, get up early, between 6 and 7 in the morning, and uh, feed the, uh, the pigs, mm -hmm. the, the roosters, the chickens, and then have a cup of coffee with uh, tortilla and then go to school. How old were you when you first went to the United States for the first time? Around 15 and 17. Okay. And how did, how did you get there? How did you get from Mexico to the United States? Walking. Wow. So you, really, you literally just crossed the border? Yeah. Okay, and no one stopped you, no one asked anything. How, no. how did you know where to cross? I was living in the border for a few months, and uh, and first of all, when I got there, I didn't had in my head mm -hmm. that I was gonna cross the border, mm -hmm. or that there was another country. I just went there because I ran away from home, and I just, I was just looking for my life. Mm -hmm. And then, well, everybody was talking about the U.S. and and that's how I knew that just across the street it was another country and things were completely different than the one I was on. Okay. And so that was kind of why you wanted to go to the U.S. the first time. It was kind of curiosity, you know, what, was, was, on other, uh, yeah, what was on the curiosity. other side. That was curiosity. That's it. Yeah. I didn't have any worries or anything. Like I said, I was, like I said, that I was just a runaway with no, with no future, with no thinking, just walking and living day by day. 